I'm Tim Pangburn, and this is Unstoppable. Lessons pressing me to live above necessity Relentlessly receiving messages receptively And in turn I repeat the blessings that rest in me Life is easy when you are as a vessel Act without stress and you'll find it's less stressful Test of self are in mind to control How righteous are you without being told? Welcome to episode 3 of Unstoppable I would like to apologize for my absence My last episode was over a month ago I had a minor surgery and I've been having problems getting back on my feet and back into the swing of how things were prior to that. Which of course leads me to my topic for today, which is insecurity. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Seriously, who are you to be on here talking to people and telling them how they should live their life? They can become a better person. Fucking mess, dude. Fucking you mess. You can't even get yourself together. You can't even get your own shit straight. You're going to be telling other people how they can get their shit straight? You're a fucking Nobody fake. Who are you to, to talk about achievement? You fail at almost everything you do. You stick to it. You can't stick to it. Who are you to be saying this to all these projects? People. You can't fulfill any of the promises you You're a fucking times, fake. You can't even keep constantly count. screw up. You've always screwed up. You've always been a screw up. You've always been, You've always been a loser. Bullshit. Con artist, you're a fake. Dude. Who the fuck do you think you, you are? think you are to come on here and then tell other people really how they should be living? You can't get your own talk shit about any of this stuff. You're not to fucking any of these good people? enough. You're not good enough. A lot of us are plagued by insecurity. I know I've been hounded by it my whole life. Ever since I was a kid, I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt like I could never do good enough. I've been a perfectionist. I've always wanted to do things precise and perfect. And I, there is no room to screw up. There is no room for errors come by it honestly this is just a personality trait of mine I'm exceptionally hard on myself I always have been artists tend to be that way anyway sometimes I really have to step outside of myself to realize that feeling insecurity like this isn't just me and that it's everybody everybody feels insecure and unsure of themselves from time to time a lot of us live our entire lives inside of that insecurity. We seek out anything to make us feel sure of ourselves. We look for approval from people. We seek validation from others. We seek validation from Facebook, validation from Instagram, validation from friends, from family, everywhere. People post up a picture of themselves on their Instagram. They don't get enough likes. They feel like they must be ugly. Now this isn't a diss on social media because I'm a fucking social media whore and everybody knows that. I'm everywhere because, geez, maybe it's because I need that validation. I've talked about it before. And I mean it 100% when I say that self-doubt is poison. It's a poison to you. Self-doubt's a poison to me. I try to be open and upfront with people and show them what I go through myself when I'm struggling. But the truth is, where have I been the last month? I've been struggling. I've been having a hard time. I'm unsure of myself. I don't know where to go with things now. Where is my path supposed to take me? Is what I'm doing even valuable to anyone? Who am I to speak about development and self-improvement when I'm often a mess? See, that's the thing I forget, though. I talk about it, and I see that there's these people that I look up to, and these people that we all look up to, and they're inspiring individuals, and they're motivating, but the fact of the matter is, is they experience these things, and if they don't right now, they have in the past, and they still do from time to time. It's hard to keep in perspective the fact that the people that we look up to are just human beings, and for me, it's really hard to be able to come here and try to bring a level of positivity and tips about how to improve yourself and things you can do to improve your life and live better. When so often, I struggle with every single thing I talk about. When we take on a lot of responsibilities, a lot of projects, when we have a heavy workload, a lot going on in our home life, what tends to happen is those little bits of insecurity and self-doubt start to creep in. The more you have going on, the harder it gets to juggle all these different things and you start struggling with it. And as soon as you start struggling, that little voice starts saying, you can't do this. You can't keep this up forever. And if you heed that voice and you listen to it, it gets louder. It gets more frequent. And the louder it gets, the more frequent it gets, the stronger of the influence it has over you. Where have I been the last month? I've been listening to that voice. I've been listening to that voice. It's saying to me, it's saying, you're not good enough to do this. Who are you to talk to people about their problems? You have problems. And I do. I have problems. I have a lot of problems. I have a lot of problems with myself. 
I know I manage well, or it looks like I manage well, but I have a hard time. And some days it's a fight to get up and it's a fight to go to work and it's a fight to do my normal responsibilities. And I stick it all on the back burner and say, fuck it, I'm not doing this. And the more often I do that, the easier it becomes to do it the following day and the day after that and the day after that. Until eventually I can't figure out what I should do at all. We hear about positive habits and how we need to form positive habits. And you gotta replace negative habits with positive ones. And this is true. This is 100% true. So many times when I record a video or I post something to my Facebook or to Instagram, it's because I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it so that I can pass on information that's helped me. I start doubting myself and I start wondering if, if my voice and my message is even worth listening to. When that kind of talk starts creeping into my head, Sometimes it steamrolls and I listen to it and then time just keeps going It keeps going and there I am I'm sitting here and I'm not accomplishing anything I said I set out to accomplish nothing I said I wanted to do is getting done and I feel like I have nothing to say And I promised people I would be here to say something. I feel like I'm letting you guys down But even worse than that is I'm letting myself down if this is the only life we have then we owe it to ourselves to live it to the fullest to be what we want to be and to be happy. God damn it, if I'm going to be happy, I'm going to drag as many people with me as I can. So when that voice starts creeping in and saying, who are you to talk to these people? The real answer is, who am I to not talk to people? We are all human and we all struggle. We struggle with the same issues. Yeah, the appearance of it may be different, but the core issues are the same. How many of you have felt unsure about yourself? How many of you have felt that you didn't deserve something? How many of you have felt like a fake, a fraud, a loser? This is the human experience and insecurity is part of it. Self-doubt is part of it. We want to make sure that we're on the proper path. We want to make sure we're doing the right thing. We want to know that we're improving ourselves and making our lives better. And we want so badly to reach high, but we live in a culture that wants us to aim low. We look at the things we want to accomplish, and so often we feel like it's out of our reach, it's out of our grasp, we can't do this. But we can. We can. The only thing that stops us from doing the things we really want out of our life is the fact that we doubt ourselves, and we're insecure in where we stand along that road. How many people have achieved things that people thought were impossible? They used to say a four-minute mile was impossible to run. The human body could not do it. Nobody had ever ran a four minute mile. It was crazy. It was, that's crazy talk. That's so fast. It's faster than people can run. No way. Not happening. Until somebody did it. As soon as somebody ran a four minute mile, the next guy ran one. And the next guy. The next guy. And the next guy. The next guy. Somebody broke through that wall. And then everybody realized if he can do it, I can do it. So what I say is look at the people that you look up to and that you admire that are doing the things that you want to do in your life. If they've achieved it, so can you. I should listen to my own advice sometimes because I've been going over and I'm saying, what am I going to say to you guys? What am I going to talk about? I don't have anything worthwhile to say. I don't have any value. I lived in so much self-deprecating doubt and insecurity for so much of my life that even now with where I'm at in my life and the things I've accomplished, I still still go through periods of time where I feel that way and I can't get out of it. I try. I'm forcing this right now to be able to get this out because I still doubt myself. I still feel insecure with what I'm saying and whether it's even worth the time. But every time I get a message on Instagram or I get a message on Facebook and somebody's saying, hey man, I really like your videos. They help me out. I realize it's then that I realize that I do have something worthwhile to say. It doesn't matter how much insecurity and doubt I have about myself, somebody else took value. And when I ask, who am I to come talk to people? That one message, that one message means, who am I to not come talk to people? One person, one person was helped by anything I say that I've done good. I'm saying this for you guys just as much as I'm saying it for myself. Because I am saying this for myself. I certainly am. Today's a selfish one. And this episode's a little selfish because these are the things I need to hear and I need to hear them now because I need to know. I need to know that I have worth. 
You know, they say you should stand in front of the mirror in the bathroom and, you know, say your positive affirmations in the mirror because when you say things out loud, they gain more power in your life. It, it's, it's, more, it's more real when you actually vocalize it. That's what today's video is for me. This is because I need to hear this. I need to say this. And I need to say it for me. And the thing is, if I'm going through this, and I've been going through this for so long right now, and if I'm going through this, and I need to say this for me, then I know somebody watching this needs to hear this too. You have value. You have worth. What you want to do in your life is completely possible. When you hear that doubt in your head saying, you can't do this. You can't do this. Who the fuck do you think you are trying to do this? You got to say, shut the fuck up. That's not you talking. That's not you. That is your brain trying to create problems for you so it can try to solve them. It's looking for problems. That's what the brain does. The brain looks for problems and it creates them if it doesn't find one. Stop listening to that voice inside. Stop listening to that voice that's telling you you can't do it because you can. I've already done things that I never thought would be possible. Shutting down the insecurity, shutting down the self-doubt. It's a conscious decision and it's one decision away. You can make one decision, change everything. Yeah, I take on a lot. I take on a lot of projects. I take on more work than I have any business taking on. And yeah, I drop a lot of it. I put it on the back burner. I say I don't need to do this right now. And that's okay because it doesn't matter how many failures I have or how many unfinished projects I have. Because I'm still moving forward all the time. Yeah, I might take a couple steps back. Like I've been feeling all this doubt about myself and who I am and what I'm saying and the messages I'm bringing. But it's just doubt. It's not even real. It's a psychological construct. It's just something echoing around inside my skull. So when I'm saying this, I want you to go and say it in the mirror. And I mean that shit. Stop doubting yourself. Don't listen to that voice trying to put you down inside your head. You can do what you want to do. You can do what you're setting out to achieve. We all get insecure from time to time, but you don't have to stay there.